Okay, I've done this little video to give you a bit of an insight as to why you might want to take on a business coach. And if you do, then why that business coach perhaps should be me. So let me start with a little bit of background about myself. Well, I'm married for the last 27 years to my wife, Jane, who also works in the business. Uh, we have three children. Two of them look like horses and one looks like a cat. So that uh, keeps us busy on a day to day basis. And uh, one thing with animals is uh, they tend to sort of stay with you, whereas at least with children, they uh, do leave home. And outside of work, I love riding motorbikes, fast cars. Uh, that's really is a passion of mine and taking them all over Europe. This was uh, done uh, down in Lake Como in Italy. And I am also pretty much addicted to golf. Uh, I love to play golf wherever I can and do like to travel the world and play on different courses as well. Um, and my background really sort of started back in 88 when I learned to become a chartered accountant, trained to be a chartered accountant. Uh, was in practice for about four years and then I went into industry, became the finance director of then it was a pretty fast growth company supplying flowers to the supermarket. That led me on to becoming a freelance finance director working predominantly with a Dutch company and we were setting up large pack houses in the UK. One went on to employ 400 people, uh, another ended up turning over around about 36 million by the time I left in 2005. Since then it's gone on to be about 100 million, uh, so pretty large organisations. Did that for a number of years and then realized that I'd grown businesses but didn't know how we'd done it. You know, we'd sort of made it up as we went along. And I wanted to really go and understand the mechanics of building businesses. So the only place I knew at the time was to go back to university and do an MBA. Once I'd done that, I actually bumped into Action International, which is now Action Coach, and really then started to learn actually how you do this. The MBA was great, but it was very theoretical. Action Coach, I found, had a fantastic system to actually enable businesses to grow. So that took me to about 2011 when I decided to team up with a business partner and we set up our first office. Uh, during that time, I wrote my first book. And in 2019, we moved to a bigger office down in Southampton. Uh, and then, of course, COVID happened in 2020. And since then, I've been pretty much coaching on Zoom um, and recording as we are doing now. And 2021 is an, it's going to be an exciting year uh, and has really started off well for me because I was awarded the uh, Coach of the Year Award for our region within uh, Action Coach. So it's really fantastic to get that. So enough about me. Really, I want to ask you first is a, a simple question is why are you in business? What is it that makes you give up a really good job you know, or start on your own? and actually run your own business with all the tries and tribulations that come with it. Well, for me, there are five levels, five levels of why people actually start businesses. First is you've got to pay the bills. Okay? You've got to earn enough money to keep you know, the wolf from the door, a roof over your head, keep the family in the uh, luxury that they're accustomed to. And that takes us so far. After that, we really want to sort of up our goals and we want to buy nicer stuff. So we want to get a house, nicer cars, nicer holidays. So actually having some income that we can actually have choices with on a day to day basis. Once we've got those, then it really turns back to that time, you know, freedom to choose what we do with our day, day to day lives. You know, when do we come into work? When do we stay at home? How long our holidays should be? Once we've got that balance right, then we really should be looking at our financial freedom. So how are we going to actually become financially free to a point where we don't have to work? You know, we get to a point where you know, work is you know, an option for us. You know, the business can work without us and we can go and do what we want to do. And once we've got that, then how do I help others do the same? You know, how do I give back to not only the people in my organization, but people outside that as well? You know, it's that altruistic viewpoint but whichever level we are you know each one of these five levels the key to having a business it should be giving us a better life unfortunately we get stuck along the way you know it might be at level one stuck level two level three level four some point 
in our business lives, we generally get stuck or it becomes more difficult moving on to the next level. So let me show you how we get stuck on you know, all the key reasons. And it's, you know, I've been coaching now for over 15 years. My parents had businesses when I was young. So I've been, lived and breathed businesses most of my life. And yeah, I can see these situations appearing, you know, for many, many businesses. So how do we do it? How do we grow our businesses? Well, businesses go through three key phases. So the first phase I like to call the growth phase. This is where we look for time for money. So if I can use my little drawer here. So all businesses grow yeah, sort of slowly to start with, but then they gain some momentum. And they get to a point here, which is okay. That point is generally around about somewhere between 250 and a million pound in turnover, okay, in sales. And the reason it gets to this level is because at that point, we should be making somewhere between 20 and probably a hundred thousand pounds of income. So if we go back to the previous sort of slide, this is paying the bills, okay? This is covering all the costs on a day-to-day -day basis. And we get to this point and we think oh, hard work. Now this might be somewhere between one and five years generally, it takes us to get to this level. Now, some businesses it takes a bit longer, but for others you generally get to that sort of half a million Sort of level by that time. When we get to that, we then sort of have a choice, you know, and a lot of people try to grow, but they get stuck and they end up doing this. They try to grow, but they find it hard and then they come back. They try to grow again, they find it hard, they come back. And this goes on and on for a number of years. And this can be anything between five and 20 years. You know, my father's business got to this level around about three quarters of a million in five years, and then it plateaued for the next 10. Unfortunately, if it gets to this point and it's only ever just paid the bills, then by the time we're in our 50s and potentially 60s, yeah, we run out of that energy that we had at this point, and the business really has only one thing it can do. It actually just disappears. You know, we can hand it over, but it's never really sold for anything. So the danger along this point here is if we're only just paying the bills, then we never have enough money or time to have that better life. We're constantly maintaining the business, working in the business, not working on it. So what we need to focus on is how do we get to a business up here that has some value? Okay, that actually has a value to us and can be sold because a business down here can't actually be sold. So we have to go through second phase, which is a structure phase. In this phase, we must invest our money back into the business to allow it to grow. So we're actually investing in people and processes. So, so if, if the first stage was time for money, the second stage is money for time. So we putting that money back into the business to help it to actually grow. And by growing to this sort of level, this sort of 2 million mark, and we're probably employing around about 20 people at this stage, and we should be making somewhere between 100,000 and 200,000 profit per year. The beauty here is now we have the money to have that lifestyle, but also we've built a team at this stage to actually run our business for us. And once we're at that stage where the business is running for us, then we now have our third phase, which is choices. We can actually now have not only our time, but also our money because the business, we could maintain it. So other people could run our business for us while we go and do something else. We could exit the business. Yeah, and at this level, we can exit the business for a reasonable amount of money. You know, on 200,000, four times profits, EBITDA, we should be exiting for around about a million pounds. Or if we're really keen and we love our business, we could continue to grow it and we could push that 2 million on to 10 million plus. 
depending on what industry you're in and what you want to do. So every business gets stuck somewhere along here. It either gets stuck in this growth phase. In fact, it struggles to get its sales and marketing or it struggles in this phase. It gets stuck here in the fact that it can't recruit enough good people and it can't put the processes in or it gets stuck up here in the fact that what do I do next? Where do I take this? Is it is the business actually ready for sale? Can it actually work without me? Or do I want to push it on to the next level? And that's really where I come in. You know, I, I'm here to help you at whichever level you might be stuck at. If it's down at this level, the sales and marketing, time for money, then I've got group programs to help with the learning and provide a little bit of focus to keep that momentum going. If it's in the middle level, the structure level, then I have one-to-one -one programs that really help get that uh, accountability and you know more specific learning to help you through. And if you have got a successful business that could work without you, or it's certainly making the profits for it, then it might be more of a strategic thinking that you need in order to help that business push on to the next level or prepare it for sale and allow the business to maintain itself while you're waiting. So wherever you are, coaching can actually help you. Coaching is there to help you get through this journey quicker and easier than you would do on your own. So that's my job. So rather than trial and error, rather than sort of make it up as you go along, a business coach can actually help you learn the skills you're going to need to take your business from one place to the next. And if you're interested in this, then the best thing to do is come and see me in action. I run group coaching sessions twice a month on a Thursday afternoon. I do mastery workshops uh, twice a month at the same time. So whether you want to come and do a, a workshop or a group coaching session, come and experience it firsthand. And if you are of a certain size, then I would quite happily give you a one-to-one -one coaching session and you just contact me at any time and I'll do that. And I'll do all of those, the first sessions completely, completely for free. Because until you've experienced coaching, it's very difficult for you to understand what it really is all about. So I do hope this has been helpful. You know, have a think about where you are on your journey. And if you do need some help, then that's what I'm here for. I'd love to help you uh, move your business to the next level. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.